Don't mess with me. Freaking jerk. Freaking internet. Freaking idiot. Uncle William is cool. Get, get freaking wrecked. William. I am so bored, and it is the middle of summer with nothing to do. No drama, no special events, and it's too hot to do any outdoor activities since it's 105 degrees outside. We were gonna go to the beach today until we found out there was an excessive heat warning and a severe thunderstorm watch. I don't know what to do. I'm broke, and it is a very boring day. I'm so bored that I got a headache for no reason which is annoying. How about I finish this GTA Online deathmatch and then it will be cool enough in the evening to go on a bike ride. Maybe I'll find some quarters on the ride. Later. While I'm on this bike ride, why don't I collect some cans and bottles to redeem and cash in at the hardware store? It seems like a good idea. Is that a vintage Coca-Cola bottle from May 8, 1886? Unopened? Yes, yes, yes. Yes! I'm gonna be rich. Screw my family, I can go on a hundred year long vacation, I bet this extremely old coke bottle is worth thousands. It is a 134 year old beverage. I have enough cans and bottles, so I can go down to the hardware store now. Welcome to Adam's Hardware. How can I help you? I have 30 cans and bottles, so it should be worth a dollar fifty cents each can is worth five cents in this state. And also I have this extremely rare Coca-Cola glass bottle from the 1800s. No way it is actually the first bottle I am gonna look at the copyright and expiration date. This drink will expire on August 16, 1888. I guess you were telling the truth. I will give you all of my life savings for that bottle of Coke, trust me. You will get more money from me than some lousy collector or museum. How much money will I get? I will give you $180,000 and a penny. Give me. Gimme, gimme. I don't have it on me right now, but I will send you a check on Google Pay or PayPal. I know your username since I borrowed money from you before. It will be in your bank account by tomorrow morning. Thank you so much. I'm going to be filthy rich. No more school, Antifa riders destroying the town, and suffering and starving myself at the end of the month. I can't believe that idiot fell for it. That bottle is actually worth 20 million dollars. He is getting less than 1% of what it's actually worth. Tomorrow should be one of the best days of my life. I will have so much money to buy a thousand Xboxes and go on vacation for 25 years. I'm gonna tell nobody about it and keep it all for myself. I don't want 45,000 of it. They already have more money than me, damn Jews. In the morning. I'm gonna check my bank account status. Oh. My. Freaking. God. Is that 44 quadrillion dollars in my bank account? Oh my fucking God. I'm the richest person in the world. I can buy everything on the planet. I can probably even buy the moon or a diamond exoplanet. The first thing I am gonna purchase though is 100 bars of Snickers. How did I even get that much money in my bank account? Did the guy sending it type in the wrong amount or the servers crashed the minute he sent it and it gave me all the money in circulation worldwide? Who cares? I can literally do whatever I want now. 10 minutes later. Oh uh, what should I do now? I got a new outfit, bought 100 Snickers bars, and 1000 Xboxes. Maybe construct a mansion in Canada made out of Xbox One X consoles and platinum gold and diamonds with $100 bills as toilet paper. I am so rich that Mr. Goodman, Donald Trump, and Bill Gates are jealous. I should even buy the United States for $30 trillion and pay off the worldwide debt of $253 trillion. Is this President Trump? I would like to pay off the American debt of 23 trillion. I will use my bank card. Thank you and bye. Now I'm gonna pay Mr. Goodman a billion dollars so I can slap him. Here's a billion dollars, now let me slap you. Whatever, at least I can buy my 700th Lamborghini. Oh my back. My fucking neck. 
It's broken. I think my skull cracked open. Horror horror. This is worse than Mario crashing into my supercar. You're such an overdramatic faker. Faker faker lemon scraper. William, where did you get that really expensive outfit from? Did you accidentally go shopping at an actually good store instead of Walmart again? Nope, and I'm not telling you how I got this money and how much I have. I remember the lottery ticket incident and when Andy shredded it. I promise 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 it won't ever happen again. I don't even know where the money is anyway. Fine, I will show you, Bill, and Andy to the mansion. Welcome to my 30 trillion dollar mansion made out of Xbox, diamonds, gold, emerald, and netherite, and platinum. You can't live here, but you can come over for parties, or if I become the king of Maryland or the United States. Can I have a million dollars? No! One hundred thousand dollars? No! A thousand dollars? What do you think? One hundred dollars? Ten dollars? One dollar? No. It's all mine. You guys have been jerks to me for years so this is payback. You were greedy to me so this is what you get. Not even a penny. Huh, I'll think about it. But no weed pennies though. Later in the evening when Lucy showed up. Hey William, can you please do me a favor and give me $20 for gas and a happy meal for Zachary? You have to be out of your mind if you think I'm giving you $20 after many dramas you caused. Remember the time grandma gave you $100 for a present and you were gonna give me $25 of it? Well this is payback and revenge for that. You have to think I'm dumb to believe that it cost $25 to put makeup on your face. So I'm only giving you a dollar like you did to me. Give it to Zachary so he can get a happy meal. Back at the lights poor slum of our house. William was so greedy and rude when he came over. Not only that, but it was a long ass car ride to Canada. And it was expensive to fill up the pickup truck with gas. We need to find a way to get William to lose all his money. That's a good idea Lucy. We should sue him or something. I overheard William excited on the computer on how Google or the bank made an error on how much he got and he was supposed to get 180,000, not 44 quadrillion. So we could report that to them and everything will be normal again and he can terrorize. Oh I meant have fun with William. I have successfully bought the United States of America, so I can literally do whatever the hell I want now. I'm gonna go on all television stations and YouTube ads to make a message. You're watching William Central video the number one network and video service in America. I'd like to say I am now the king of America and I control everything so here are my new laws. If you kill me in any online game, you get banned from Xbox Live and PlayStation Network for a month. If you do it again you lose internet for a month. All schools, universities, and colleges will be converted into McDonald's, Taco Bell, Arby's, Olive Garden, Chuck E. Cheese's, Freddy Fuzzbear's Pizza, GameStop, Walmart, Video Game School, Wise Store, or Shaw's. Every household and business will have one gigabyte internet for free. Anyone who riots or causes mass destruction will get a life sentence. The only type of cake you can buy is chocolate or coconut. Gay marriage is illegal. And if you dare ever destroy an electronic device, you will be executed by being tied up and bound and then thrown into deep quicksand. Have a nice day! I think William has really gone off the deep end, I have no idea how we can stop him because he controls everything. Let me think for a moment. Wait a second, William's bank is based in Canada, not in America. So we can get the bank to take away the money and repossess everything. And then he will be back to square one. Later. I'm sorry, but we have to refund everything and take away all your money including 100 Snickers bars. Dozens of Xbox consoles, slapping Mr. Goodman, the mansion, outfit, paying off America's debt, and the purchase of the United States. You were originally supposed to get $180,000, but there was a crash in the server due to a large amount. We're taking away $179,000 of it as a fine due to failing to report the error, corruption, or glitch. At least I get to keep $1,000. Looks like everything's back to normal. And I still have a thousand dollars to hide and spend it on some frivolous electronic. 
The downside is I have to deal with everyone's annoying antics. Okay, who turned off my effing light? Why did the guy that made this house put the light switch outside my room? What moron does that? If you made it this far in the video, congratulations. I have a challenge for you viewers. If you guess the amount of money William spent or guess the closest amount to it, in the next William video you will get a special shout out message from him and possibly a cameo. I will give you a hint for the contest. The amount is between 25 trillion and 2 billion dollars and it rhymes with core.